This is a test to demonstrate the QSK full break-in capability on CW of the IC7300. We have the uh, receiver tuned to uh, 3505 on the 80 meter band connected to an antenna and um, we have it on full break-in as you can see here. Let's turn the RF gain to maximum. You hear the background noise coming out of the speaker. And I have, I'm in the CW mode and I have turned off the side tone so that when we key this rig we won't be able to hear ourselves but if there is anything uh, underneath us transmitting we would be able to hear it. So we are transmitting from another transmitter which is the uh, K3S over here and I've got its power output set down to a very low level and the antenna that it is transmitting from is this alligator clip lead here and uh, here we have the key that we're going to use to activate the K3 and we're going to short out the key and create a carrier. So we just simply uh, clip the lead on here and be sure our antenna is connected. Okay, so now we're transmitting with the K3 to simulate a, a carrier from another station. And um, here we have an S9 signal coming in on the 7300. So we're going to transmit with the 7300 and let's see I've got the keyer set for 25 words a minute. Turn the volume up some. So what you're hearing here is the carrier in between the bits use dashes and you can hear a little more uh, but you can see uh, in between my dashes here you can see the receive signal I'm sending CQ I'll show you what we hear with no signal at all. And put the signal back on. Let me slow the keyer down. There's 20 words a minute. 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, bits, 28, 29, there's 30 words a minute. Now you hear kind of a click, but you don't really hear a good tone there. So I'm saying twenty six, twenty seven words a minute would be for all practical purposes the limit of QSK. But keeping in mind here we're we're sending solid dits and dashes, so that's a pretty strenuous test. So if I was just sending CQ, let's see let's send CQ at 35 words a minute. So, you know, you could practically uh, break me at 35 words a minute. It's just that the, the solid dits is uh, pretty much an over-the-top test. <laughs> 
Uh, there's with no signal again. Now you can hear the relay clicking, I think. I can try to get a little closer and you might be able to hear the fan. The fan kicks on on the first dit. One dit. So it's kind of like woo for a, just a, maybe two seconds and then it calms down. And then as I transmit, the fan just totally stops. And you can hear the, the relay. I mean, it's not real super loud, but it's audible. Wearing headphones, you don't really hear it. Okay, so there you go. That's a, a crude but simple test, and I think it demonstrates that the, the QSK on this receiver is uh, adequate for most things. It's not as fast as the... Uh, I would say the Flex 6500, it's not that fast. Um, the K3, uh, don't know, I haven't tested it this way, so maybe I need to do that next. So there you go, folks. Thanks for watching.